What y'all eating today? Y'all eat right for your blood type? Who cooking? It gotta be dinner time somewhere. And somebody gotta be cooking. Are you cooking for your blood type? Do you know the blood type of everybody that you about to cook for tonight? Or are you just whooping something together that grandma gave you? <laughs> huh? Hey, hey, hey. You whooping together grandma, something, grandma recipe? Some of that soul food that's really not good for the soul at the end of the day? <laughs> well, I help people eat for their blood type because it is my belief in knowing that this coding has matrix, right? And our blood has memory, right? So our blood in our food creates a chemical reaction called lectins. And these lectins build up in our body and cause inflammatory issues in our body. And the more inflamed we get from eating the, the foods that are not in alignment with our blood, the more likely we can come on this into this thing called sickness and disease. The more likely our gut from being inflamed for so long could turn into a little, little ulcer. That's how it all starts. Little acids and things build up up in here. Little toxins, little parasites. Then it'll get so it'll get so tender and inflamed up in there that oop, we got a little hole up in there. Little ulcer, little leaky gut syndrome, little autoimmune disease and disharmony. So I teach people about those foods. I have a meal plan dedicated to help you all e avoid eating those foods once you know what they are based upon your blood type. And then you stay away from those foods and you go toward the foods that are highly beneficial for your blood type instead. And pretty much, long story short, you reverse this, this sickness and disease. This is something I personally, um, I want to say stumbled upon. I personally got into the knowing for myself because I've been, I have been on this journey for over 10 years. And initially I was just going cold turkey because I was experiencing so many, you know, the diseases and disharmony in my body. You know, like anemic, irritable syndrome, um, <laughs> low blood pressure, vertigo, acne, thinning in hair, wearing eyeglasses, weight gain, mucus, you know, not being able to breathe and stuff like that. Just those kind of things. You know, thyroid issues, all that. I used to have all that. And guess who don't have none of that no more? Guess who healed themselves first? So I want to empower other people to heal themselves so that you re begin to realize that you're your savior. You're the savior that you've been looking for. I normally come live at 10 a.m. So this is different. So there's a whole new audience that I'm talking to. I guess that's why y'all ain't talking to me because y'all don't even know me. Like, what? I don't think I'm eating right. <laughs> yeah, uh, Nia. Well, the link is in my bio of the highly beneficial foods based upon your blood type. Do you know your blood type though? That's the first step. You got to know your blood type because your blood has memory and your blood is the thing that activates the food that you're eating. So if you don't know your blood type, don't worry. Don't worry about that there because I got you covered on that end too. You're going to go to Amazon. You're going to go to Amazon and this is one of the kits that I purchased. It looked like this here. It had a card inside of here and then they had the, um, the needle to prick your ring finger. It's called the Eldon, E-L-D-O-N, at home kit. E-L-D-O-N, Eldon. And so the Eldon at home kit will help you identify what your blood type is. If you don't know, it's time that you know. It's time that you get to know. Because guess what? Doctors know. <laughs> they know if you're all negative or they know. <laughs> because that's a rare one. That's the one that they're gonna be keep calling. Or they'll probably take even extra of your blood because you don't know. And when you don't know, your blood is being recycled for other people to benefit. Your blood is being purged and just giving it away to other people. Meanwhile, your, your blood is really, really expensive and needed to make medicine, to heal others. But first, you should be using it to heal your fir yourself first if you like one of the old Anunnaki type gut lines. So the old blood type is the original blood type, right? So when you get the Eldon, E-L-D-O-N at home kit, It'll come with a little cheat sheet, kind of like this here card, just to let you know, kind of like compare your blood with the blood or images that are on this list. And so for example, if you are O negative, yours will look like a full copper of at the top. 
it'll give you a guide so you can know because your blood the plasma in your blood is going to create one of these four um, images right and you line it up with your image that you get from taking your at-home kit it's really quick and easy about three to five minutes tops pricking the finger adding a little dot of water and your blood and circling it together in the little four dots that's on the cord and bam in the privacy of your home you now know what your blood type is now you're empowered yeah now that's the beginning of the wisdom for you because now that you know your blood now you can go to my website link in the bio sort of the earth pub.org that org so on my home page or my um profile page you'll see you'll see the link up there so this is what my main page looks like right here and so my website address is right there and all you have to do is click right there to go to some of the earth pub.org and when you click on the website you'll be able to see the top of my website that it shows the bundles that i offer so at the top of the website, these three black balls right here, one of those bundles is what you need. The last one, the third one is the most beneficial one though, because inside of the third bundle on the black bar here, this is a blood type kit. And so pretty much it's gonna tell you, <laughs> it's gonna give you um, your meal plan. It's gonna tell you what you could eat, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, nuts, seeds, um, fruits, your, juices your herbal teas your oils your beverages condiments your beans and legumes the meat seafoods everything that's highly beneficial for your blood type so now when you eat these foods you won't be getting inflamed anymore this bundle also comes with a herbal potion for your blood type to help to lubricate your liver for example if you like a blood type b blood type b is they they have a problem with the stagnated liver and so the highly beneficial oil for your blood type mixed together in a herbal um, potion that's available on within this here kit will help to lubricate and remove them toxins and help them to pass through your gallbladder duct ridding your body of toxins in them um, gallstones right lubricating a large and small intestine so now you can release and expel old fecal matter toxins parasites and all these different things and i say that because you gotta, it's really important that you have the highly beneficial oils in your body for your blood type, just in case you don't know nothing about this, because we all have parasites and we get a lot of parasites. We all have different levels of parasites, but we get an overabundance of parasites when inside of our gut, we have old mold and um, mucus and food that hasn't been digested. The parasites multiply because now they have a really, that's their job. Now they have work to do really to destroy. <laughs> that waste inside of your gut being that there's no hydrochloric acid but the bad thing about the so-called parasites is they like to take over and become the host and they like to drain you of your vital minerals and nutrients that you need this is why some people in a physical reality they'll become maybe vitamin d3 deficient like right and so how could that person be d3 deficient when there's a whole sun that's giving us all the nourishment that we need well, it just lets you know that that person has something gnawing on them or low in magnesium, right? How can you be magnesium deficient or low if you ate something green? Like, right? If you, you So that means you never, never ate a piece of lettuce? You never ate kale? You never had green onions or green peppers? Because all of the green bell peppers, because all of the green stuff got chlorophyll and magnesium in there. So what do you mean you're magnesium deficient? If you pay attention to the language that we be using, it lets us know the integrity of what's really going on inside of there. So if you're magnesium deficient, D3 deficient, that's something knowing at your magnesium. That's something that's inside of that gut because it's, 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 it's funny, well not funny, but it's the irony of it all is that like cancer patients, for example, they're low in magnesium. And the root cause in the beginning of their journey be parasites that took over and so then so we'll get like maybe a so-called cyst which turns into like a tumor we'll have all these fancy words fibroid we'll say all these different things to let us know we got a whole bunch of mucus in that body that we didn't give us ourselves the right minerals at the time to loosen it up and expel it out the body 
So the lymphatic system got backed up. The lymphatic system is the backup for the blood system. It got black, backed up, and so now this thing done got hard because we ain't lubricating it with like our proper oils, with our proper omega threes, with our proper um, minerals and vitamins for our body. It's just a it's an easy fix, but oftentimes we'll make it <laughs> complicated because we'll become fearful from it. We don't really understand how to heal because we're not eating for our blood type. We're not practicing knowledge of self in the areas of um, our physical health because we're not honoring our mother and father. And when I say that, I don't mean the ones in your house. I mean that lineage that you stem from, right? So when you go to the website, you have an option to purchase number three, which is the most um, beneficial most valuable because it has the at-home herbal potion, seven-day meal plan, while I, like I was discussing, the food to avoid, and the highly beneficial foods based upon your blood type. And if you're overweight, if you're overweight or obese or sick, you can take advantage of that bundle because it'll give you weight loss cheat codes. So the weight loss cheat codes are foods. Do you realize that they are foods out there in a physical reality that are highly beneficial that if you just eat them, they'll shrink your stomach. If you just eat them, that'll increase your metabolism. Just because they intertwine with your blood type and make weight fall off of you instantly. They will tighten up that saggy skin that you might be having. You know, like you ever seen people, like some people that have like big saggy, you know, drapery, I'm not being ugly, but like drapery type skin because they lost a whole bunch of weight. And the skin just sag but then meanwhile there'll be somebody that lose a whole bunch of weight and they don't have that issue why is that some people are eating the foods that are highly beneficial that are on that cheat code and some have no idea what those foods are so don't be in a blind as it pertains to your health especially if you're a parent a mother or father teach them children what is beneficial for their blood type let them children know what their blood type is because guess what the biblical text this is part of wisdom now train up a child and and in the way that he or she should grow and that way when they grow older they won't depart from it so maybe your child will depart and you know go out and do out whatever they want to do with the pork shops you know with the chicken and front might be causing them inflammation based upon their blood type you know with, with the weed or whatever that they probably shouldn't be consuming based upon their blood type or dairy based upon their blood type They'll go out in that way, but if you train them before they leave that house, guess what? They'll revert back when they get sick and tired. At least they'll have the knowledge for when they get sick and tired. And us as parents, as mothers and fathers, and I know this to be true because I know some people who've experienced it. It is a sad moment when you realize that you gave birth to someone who's maybe a blood type A who has the least amount of hydrochloric acid. And you've been cooking and preparing meals that you thought was going to be nutritious that you thought was going to you know be beneficial for them children and then later you realize that's the, you're the reason the food that you was um cooking was pretty much the reason that their stomach was so inflamed that they had stomach cancer because they was a blood type a and you didn't know it. you was a blood type o so you the meat eater and you just ch cooking meat for the baby and the baby can't even tolerate the meat based upon their blood type so with people like that, I definitely, that don't know, I definitely encourage you to get the Eldon from Amazon, Eldon, E-L-D-O-N, at home kit for your family. This is really, really inexpensive. The kit for your family, that way everybody in the family know what their blood type is. And then, then when you get the kit for the family, I'm gonna show you something on my website. I'm gonna show you. So when you get the kit for your family, and you're trying to order the meal plan right here hey hey how you doing today well if you have the kit for the family and everybody in the family isn't the same blood type here's what you do you purchase the one for all blood types that's the best value instead of purchasing them one by one because let me show you if i purchase this one you see the price for the one you see the price for the one and there's four different blood types so instead of doing that, you purchase all blood types and now you have a discounted rate when you do all blood types, if it's like more than one blood type in your family. And so at that moment, now what you really could do, now you could kind of like 
<laughs> put the ones together of the people that's in your family. Put the you know the meal plans together. And now when you cook, you know to leave like for example, if you have an A in the house, you know not to add the cayenne pepper to the food because the cayenne pepper is the very thing that's triggering inflammation in that A that lives in your house, All right? You, and, and also, if you have an A in your house and maybe you're O, you know now, okay, don't put the meat inside of the um, beans, you know, because I have an A in the house. Because my A's, my A's don't have any highly beneficial meat. They're more like the Asian type diet where they're into so, to, um, tofu, soy, you know, they're, they're soy based protein, right? And so they, they meat. It's gonna be like fish. It's not gonna be like the bloody steaks. It's gonna not gonna be like you know, the pork. It's not gonna be like the chicken. And if you give them that, well, chicken is neutral form. But if you give them that, you know, bloody steak or that beef or whatever, it's gonna really kind of like smother them. It's gonna cause their blood to thicken up. It's gonna cause extra mucus to sit on their chest and on their body. They're gonna be waking up the next day coughing up mucus because of the simple fact that their body has a hard time digesting that. They produce mucus already in their sleep. So it's really important that we know these type of things about the blood type, our blood that we stem from, because even in religion, as it pertains to spirituality, the blood of Jesus, the blood of the lamb, the blood that writes your name, it was always something about the blood, the blood sacrificial offerings in the biblical text, turning water into wine symbolic of the Christ conscious one blood being renewed you know it goes on and on and on about the blood and so that means that that need to tell you something about life is it has some symbolic meaning to you because there's so many hidden gems in the biblical text and it's just not a story about other people outside of you because there's nothing new under the sun you are the ancestors you you are part of that story you're part of that darkness that was on the face of the deep and so being that there's nothing new underneath the sun, <laughs> being that energy is neither created, neither created or destroyed, it's simply transformed, that means everything in creation is and will always be. That includes you. That includes your blood and the memory, therefore, of your blood. So this is part of spirituality because you're freaking the cold. This is also why in the physical reality they have like vegans who don't thrive as far as health and wellness is concerned. Earlier today when I came, I only came for maybe about 15 minutes because I had errands to run. Oops, I'm sorry about that. I had errands to run, but I was talking to the people about the vegans who still ain't healthy and somebody was like, yeah, but I was, I'm old and I was at my sickest point when I became a vegan. So things like that, now you're empowered to know that I'm always a meat eater and, and th it thrives on meat and vegetables. So this explains why the moles go out to try to be a vegan because it's the end thing. You know, people are like, oh, I'm a vegan. I'm a vegan. Everybody want to jump on the vegan in the woke, you know, <laughs> phase of life. But it's not for everybody. It's not a one, everybody's supposed to be a vegan part journey because we're different in the aspect of our blood. We're different. We're all energy, frequency, and vibration, but we're just vibing at a different frequency based upon what the matrix is, just like our food is. And so you want to choose the food that's vibing on the frequency that coincides with, with what your blood is. And so now when you consume food that's in alignment with your blood, you don't have inflammation no more. You don't have the, the leaky gut no more. You, 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 you have the ability to create the digestive enzymes you have the ability to increase your metabolism now you have now your your hydrochloric acid that's returned inside of you and you increase the microbiome diversity inside of your gut meaning that you ain't got no um, bad bacteria away in the good parasites while and now itching and twitching down here because if they itching and twitching down here surely they itching and twitching up here because as within so without on earth as it is in heaven as above so below Everything is connected. Y'all get it what I'm saying here? Yeah. Hey, Shanetta. Hey, hey. Hey, Diva. Yeah. Did you say Kayam Tapa triggers inflammation? Zebine. Yes, I did. But I was only talking about Kayam Tapa triggering inflammation as it pertains to a blood type A. You are correct. But I'm only talking about blood type A. 
Okay? I'm a B. So that does not apply to me. See, simple things like that hit you. Hey, hey, speak that truth. <laughs> simple things like that. It always has an exception. Not for a B, though. But yeah, for A, it would. Wait, Kayan? Yeah. Yeah. Inflammation. So, so for example, they got that, that video that's going viral about the lemon, the oil, and the cayenne pepper. You look, pay attention when you, this is how you peep game on a lot of things. There's always an exception. Look in a comment. Don't be quick to, I'm not saying you, but generally speaking, <laughs> be quick to observe and pay attention. Read, read the room, read the energy. So what I do, because I'm conscious, and that's what conscious people do, they're conscious of how, how they are feeling and the experiences around them. I read comments and stuff. There's always, and I put a comment in that video particular that I'm talking about. There's always maybe an exception up in there. And for the exceptions, I'm willing to bet whether they know or don't know, the exceptions are the ones that would come in and say, I tried this and it didn't work for me. It had my stomach feeling really bad or whatever, right? So the exceptions gonna be like a blood type A. That's the ones that ain't gonna work for. Just like a keto diet, for example, a blood type A. Some of these diets is not inclusive for everybody. You gotta get on the right track with what's good for your blood type. Just like a vegan, all fruits and vegetables ain't good for everybody. That's why vegans are still overweight. That's why they got vegans walking around with glasses on. They'll be on their lives and they barely could see, but they're vegan. And I'm not being judgmental, but guess what? What I do understand about this, this, this avatar self is that we have a brain right here. This is like our first brain up in here, right? Outside of our first eye, I'm talking um, physical right now, right? This brain, it has the ability to absorb and eliminate. And you shouldn't have a whole bunch of waste on it. If you do have a lot of waste on it, if you do not have the ability to eliminate or absorb your minerals in here, that lets me know up in here, you're toxic too. You don't have cognitive thinking. You're not going to be able to see and absorb light like others. So your vision ain't going to be no 20, 20. Because right here in this head, part of this brain, it's overly stimulated. Everything is about a healthy balance. And so if this thing can't eliminate, if this thing have toxins, if this thing inflamed, this is why we have sick people. We'll say these things, but we don't even pay attention to what we say. We'll say, man, that man's sick. That man is sick. That's the truth. There are a lot of people that are sick. In here though, it started in here. And then the parasites, because we have gut feelings, we're intertwined with our gut. Them parasites up here too now. <laughs> the ability to absorb is up in here too, right? Elim the ability, you can't retain, you know how like you, you get to a place in your journey where you got to read something three or four times to get an understanding. That's your cognitive thinking and reasoning. The only way that that thing get clogged up in because you got old, no. It's because something clogged up up in here that we don't be eliminating. Because remember back in the day, we lived longer we were healthier, we were more conscious, but we, we, we still have that bloodline. Just, you know, people will say, you know, it's in my genes. So it's in everybody's genes to, to go down a chronic constipation, right? It's in everybody's genes to go down, to get sick, die faster, you know, to be bald headed, to have high blood pressure. It could be in your genes to have all of these things that happen to run in a family. But it ain't in the same genes to be reversed for somebody to be the black sheep and, and rewrite the story and dare to go down the road let's travel by that ain't in nobody's genes that's not in nobody's genes because nobody don't want to <laughs> you just don't want to some people just don't get sick and tired enough to where they want to and so they'll say little things just to get them by like oh you only live once well yeah my mama had it yeah i got it too like what no, that's not like how life happens when you supposed to be the operant power. What is that saying about your ability to put on the whole armor of God? You putting on your mama armor? And so her armor got to be like your armor. So she died this way, so you got to die that way too? 
You know, think think about what we be saying. That's the beginning of wisdom right there. That's the beginning of it all. When you have the knowledge and you apply it. You see what I'm saying here? Yes. I was doing keto. Oh my goodness. As an A, you was doing keto. Oh my God. So this is not a, a diet that I'm speaking of. This is a lifestyle. Yeah, I'm not saying, okay, you can't never eat, you know, nothing sweet. Because guess what? Agave is a beneficial sweetener for a lot of the um, blood types, right? I'm not saying that, you know, you can't eat meat unless you're an A. You don't really have any highly beneficial meats, but you do have neutral ones. But on a seafood level, you have a lot. You have a lot of highly beneficial seafoods, like, you know, fish. So, but what I am saying is if you would try this and you, you try it and base it upon how you feel. And see, I know what's going to happen. I know you're going to feel good because I've never met nobody that tried it. Tried even for their blood type that didn't feel better. Didn't feel the, the least, the release of inflammation, so, you know, subsiding in their body instantly. Like when they consume their highly beneficial oils, their fruit drinks. You know the vegetables even even with the meat and so this debunks the idea of everybody should just stop eating meat i i just strongly don't believe in that and honestly i'm not a meat eater i'm a bee and i can eat meat i just don't believe that it is in everybody's dna in everybody's blood that we all the same and we all supposed to be vegans vegans aren't bees are naturally the true vegans it's the a's who really are the true vegans so, so when they talk about, oh, you need to go vegan. If you ain't no A, then you need to not be listening to the people. Because I understand what your blood say. And so once we empower ourselves to know these things, we drop sickness and disease. You got to be renting and going back and forth to the doctor because this is where all that yeast at. You got VV, you got you got um, yeast infections. This is because right here. You got halitosis, you got, you got, you got that thrush on your tongue this is where it came from right here you wearing glasses okay okay you the ability to eliminate and absorb is being compromised up here your hair falling out up okay you have air follicles up in here you know you made them fall out too it started in here first you can't sleep at night oh yeah that sounds like them critters keeping you up all night you got insomnia oh it started up in here the things that you was eating that was not in line with your blood type you see what i'm saying you got eczema oh you got a lot of acids and this inflammation up in here Everything will lead you back to in here, right? It's going to lead you back to here. And so in our life, we may forsake it when we say silly things like, oh, well, you got to die from something. That just be giving people a little thing, a little reason why they're going to let themselves off the hook for the lifestyle that they choose, right? So you let yourself off the hook and then you realize that it ain't comfortable no more, right? Hey, Shanetta, it ain't comfortable. Hey, goddess, it ain't comfortable because you, you didn't try to play a trick on your mind, but in your subconscious mind, you never believed that, that crap. You never believed the crap that you were saying. So now you got to experience disease and disharmony. Talking about I don't, you only live once and I'm going to die from something else, for something anyway. So now you're uncomfortable. Now you're reminding me of the, the, the Moniques of the world. You remember Monique? She was like, oh, I hate the skinny bees, right? She hated them. She hated them and she just wanted to eat whatever it is, right? She gave herself an excuse, but her subconscious mind wasn't buying that thing. So now every time you see her on TikTok, she's jumping up and down sweating. She with a little fitness, a little man, trying to lose weight, trying to try help this stuff, trying to teach everybody else how important all of a sudden it is for you to pay attention to your health. Trying to seem like become the little skinny lady that she said that she hated. Because her subconscious mind and her blood wasn't buying it. <laughs> it wasn't buying it. And all of the people that be out there for a limited time. Because see, it's purposeful for you to be on the sick frequency. Because God wants to experience all. But one day, you just like the prodigal son. You got to come back home. And home, if you've been on the sick frequency, home going to be he um, health and wellness. So God wants to experience itself and then you'll be able to appreciate being healthy then because you spent so many years being sick. Experience the ups and downs of sickness. So that's just how this, this matrix works. So for those of you who are out there into the po body positivity, that's a beautiful thing. That's so beautiful. But I want to remind you that God wants to experience itself. 
and you could be as positive if you if as you want to be but if your subconscious mind out there ain't believing it sickness and disease gonna knock at your door with your positive mindset that you think you have and when it knocks at your door it's gonna be telling you uh oh it's time to experience yourself on the other side see how positive you'll be when you lose this weight See how positive you'll be when that lymphatic system is finally draining and you don't have swollen ankles no more. It's going to be a totally different type of positivity then because now the lymphatic system, the backup to your blood is going to release through your kidneys. Now you'll be able to catch your breath and you won't always be sick and you won't always have that hoarse voice of yours, you know, for the body positivity people. And I'm not, there's nothing wrong with being, you know, thicker. But there's something totally wrong when your lymphatic system ain't working. Because how else are you going to clean that blood? Hmm? How else are you going to keep that blood pure? Now you would be all positive if you want to at three, four, five, six hundred pounds. That's all on you if you want to go up the ladder up there. But if your lymphatic system gets too clogged up and you got too many acids and they've not been released via your urine, via your adrenal glands to go down to them kidneys to be expelled through your urine, you are full of crap, my darling. <laughs> if you're not going to the bathroom and releasing bile, if your liver is not releasing them gallstones, if your kidneys are not releasing that uric acid and that lactic acid, you, my darling, are full of crap. I just want to let you know. And guess what? This is not to respect the person. You could be full of crap at 90 pounds. Just like you could be full of crap at 300 pounds. Okay? Little people will be toxic too, yeah. Little people could be rolling too. <laughs> Don't let the weight fool you. It's the amount of parasites you have. It's your balance that you have or the lack thereof. It's the ability in here to eliminate or absorb minerals. See, you can't look at a person to see that. Because you, you can look at a person, you know, because people get pretty for TikTok. Some of the content creators get pretty, pretty, pretty for TikTok. <laughs> and they could be very well on dialysis. Can't even filter their own blood themselves. Need a whole machine to help them. To do the thing that the lymphatic system naturally is supposed to be doing for them. Now they got need a whole machine to help them out. You see what I'm saying? Can't look at a person and just, just, just determine how healthy they are based upon their weight. So whether you're sick or thick, your body positivity activity should be in alignment with your ability to release all fecal matter, to be in, in alignment with your ability for your adrenal glands to open up, to release the, the acids out via your kidneys so you can urinate them out and that you can turn around after you urinate and look at them sediments in that toilet in that yellow, darker yellow pee first thing in the morning to let you know that your kidneys are filtered. If your pee clear first thing in the morning, uh-oh. 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 Let me take these comments. Hi, I got your um plan. I got your plan for blood type B, and I'm starting to see a difference. Thank you. Thank you, Veta Wilson. Thank you for commenting that for the other people that are here. I love to hear. Every time I come live, I hear a testimony from somebody. Friday, I was really excited because somebody lost 50 pounds. You know what? I know y'all going to leave some reviews. Wait a minute. I, I just thought about that. I just thought about that. All these people that's talking about Oh, uh-uh. Y'all, better, could you be the first one to leave a review? <laughs> I just thought about it. Look, I have it open up. Look better. So if you're looking at the meal plan, you're checking out, go back on the website and click on the meal plan that you got and click on this here tab right here for me. The review tab, where they ain't got nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna get on y'all. I'm gonna remember. I'm gonna write y'all username down. That I'm gonna be looking forward for you to leave a review, please, baby. Because nobody ain't leaving a review, but they tell me here. I got a Miss Grateful roll call, Miss Being Soul roll call. I'm ready for them reviews. Key, I'm ready for them reviews. Those are the people that I know off top of my head. Y'all leave reviews for the other people to see. Really, they don't need a review to know the, to to pay attention based upon their inner being, letting them know. 
If you pay attention to what your inner being saying, you're only still listening to me because your inner being got your attention to listen on to me. Matter of fact, you manifested me to come forward to tell you what you needed to know because you're the person that asks why, why my stomach feel like that? Why am I going through this here? Why do I have high blood pressure? Why, why, why? So you ask why in asking you shall receive. Bam, I pop up on your screen. I'm not even normally supposed to be here at this time. I come on at 10 a.m. Monday through Friday. I just had a busy day. But guess what? It was perfect alignment for me to meet you, my first timers. Because <laughs> this is out of alignment for me to be here. It's 536 here in Arizona where I am. I don't, I'll, I'll be chilling looking at birds around this time. So everything is perfectly orchestrated for you to see this and to jump on it. I ain't gonna be here next, tomorrow at this time, I tell you that much. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, okay. So if you wanna find out, wow, this is awesome. Yeah, thank you, thank you, babe. That alchemist oil has me running smooth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, will do, okay. Okay, I'm perfect, hey 10K. I'm perfect. Thanks for asking. Y'all don't forget to leave the reviews. I, I don't normally ask for reviews, but that one don't have none. I think I got a couple of reviews on the Alchemist Oil, but Shanetta, leave me a review for that Alchemist Oil, please, baby. And thank you so much. I appreciate you. Hey, God, it's love, love, love. Hey, Orange. Orange, I need a review. <laughs> it's review day. It turned into a review video. I need some reviews. I don't have no reviews, and y'all be telling me all these good things. Go to the website, whatever it is that you purchase, and write an honest review. Even if, even if you, you know, uncertain, write that. Let the people know. I'm not asking you to to say a certain thing, but tell the people the truth, right? About how you feel, what you about to cook. I'm not cooking today. I cooked and ate yesterday. I don't eat every day. Um, what you about to cook? You be cooking today? I'm a bee with a horrible knees, and I've been eating this way and I'm able to um, bend and move better. Okay, okay, is that Melissa? Yes, yes. But A's food, I don't like, oh, okay. Well, so what you gonna do about that, I am Debbie? Yeah, yeah. So what you gonna do about the A's food that you don't like? You don't like no fruit, no vegetable, no nut, no seed, no seafood on the A meal plan. You don't like none of them. You got the meal plan and you looked at it and you thought all of that stuff was horrible. That's what you're saying to me? That's what you're saying. You found you found a way to make everything on the list something that you don't like, right? That's what you're saying? I love your hair wrap. You look pretty. Oh, in it too. Thank you. I appreciate that. I um I said for my Chico, yeah, it didn't come with the oil. No. Because if you order it by itself. The weight loss cheat code is just by itself. That's just food that's going to help you lose weight. The most valuable plan is the bundle, that third black bar. It comes with the cheat code. It comes with highly beneficial, your herbal potion, and the meal plan. So so now, since you got the cheat code, <laughs> you, what you could, you have one or two options. You could get the at-home um, bundle, which is really, really inexpensive. It's only a few dollars. But... <laughs> If it were me, I would get the seven day meal plan because the seven day meal plan comes with the at home herbal potion. And so that way you at least you have two things for one price. Now you have a semi bundle since you purchase, you know, the weight loss Chico on its own. So now if you purchase the seven day meal plan, it includes the at home herbal potion. So now, now you're in alignment with having everything if you purchase the seven day meal plan. You have the seven day meal plan, the avoid list, the beneficial list, and you already have the weight loss cheat codes. So if I were you, that's what I would get next because you do still need to know the stuff that you need to avoid anyway. You still need to know your herbal teas and you talking about the potion, but okay, you take the potion and then you go eat something that costs you inflammation. Then you're going to think that the potion ain't working because you don't know the foods that are highly beneficial and the ones that you need to stay away from. So, and then if you're trying to lose weight, another reason why it's so beneficial for you to have the seven day meal plan in conjunction with the weight loss cheat code, because the weight loss cheat code, get, keep in mind, out of all the foods 
for your blood type, the weight loss cheat code is giving you the food that matches all of these categories. And that's why it's not as many foods as the actual meal plan. The foods that's on the weight loss cheat code got to match the category of, of um, subsiding that inflammation, causing you to lose weight, causing you to increase your um, metabolism, that's causing you to increase the microbiome diversity, that's ridding your body of old fecal matter, that's also getting rid of them pathogens and things in there, that's helping you with your lymphatic system and your liver and your digestive system. There aren't a whole plethora of foods that fit all of those things all at one time. That's why the weight loss cheat code is a couple of foods. So if you are, I don't know if you are or not, but it don't even matter. But if you are overweight, you will want to have the most variety of foods that you can consume. So eat it and pay attention that you incorporate the ones on the weight loss cheat code is key. But then you you gonna probably want to eat something else outside of what's on that cheat code. And then you can go toward the hot ones that are still highly beneficial for you. They ain't making you lose weight and shrink your stomach and increase your metabolism as much, but they ain't causing you inflammation either, right? So because they don't fit in both categories. So that's just me in, based upon what I know. And I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not a salesperson. You do what you want to do with your energy. I'm just, you know, trying to give you the wisdom behind it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, let me see. Um... How do you find out the info about the other blood types? What do you mean about that? I don't think I'm eating right. I don't think the same way. Well, oh, okay, I know what you're saying. No fish, only a few um, veggies. Oh, okay, that's what you like. Okay, so for me, for me with my journey, how I found out for me, which is the beginning of the of it all. I found out for me, through me, through my inner being, foremost. Like I said, 10 years on this year journey, you get to a point in your journey where you don't want to listen to nobody. So I know that you got the so-called healers out there, you know, and, and you, in the beginning of your journey, you want to take in, you want to take in all of this information. I was an herbalist. I had a guru that was, that was over me, teaching me about health and wellness in a time when I needed it. And then I pulled back from listening to my guru. And I just paid attention to the customers. I paid attention to the herbs that I was drawn to. But I began to ask my inner being to show me what was good for me because it was just too much, you know. And during my journey, you know, my one of my friends, you know, my family, they would be like, oh, you remind us of Dr. Save. And they would call me Nurse Rie. Well, she come and put your food up, you know, like, right. And they would tell me that I needed to um, research Dr. Save and all. And I, I researched what Dr. Save was saying and all. And for me, I never went to order anything because at this point, I was surrounded by healers that was all saying, try this, try this, try this, try this, try this. And so I pushed all of them out. This is a pivotal moment in your journey too, journey too where you need to figure this thing out for yourself. You push everything away because you're the student. But at, at one point in your journey, you, you got to become the teacher. And so... <laughs> This is equivalent to being fishers of men, you know? And so I asked my inner being, I was like, show me, lead me to what health and wellness is for me. Because so many people are saying so many different things. Could you show me? And I believe according to my knowing, according to my spiritual belief, that I can never ask myself a question that I don't know the answer to already because I'm tapped into something called the subconscious, which is, all knowing, infinite intelligence, God, source. We all have an innate ability to tap into source. In mine, I believe and I know that when I ask via asking myself a question, I already know the answer and that I can't ask myself a question and not know the answer because I know all things because my subconscious mind and yours too, it don't ever sleep. This is our land book of life, our Akashic records. So this is how I begin to eat because my inner being will give me a hunch, a knowing, a drawing me to a certain food that was beneficial for me. And I would sit with myself on the sofa, on my bed, and I would pay attention to my body and how it felt. I've always been an observer, you know, and I encourage you to be an observer, read energy. 
But first start with reading the energy of your home. And you might want to start there with food. Read the energy, the coding of when you digest something, how it feels when it goes in you. Your body going to tell you because you have an in internal GPS just like I do. Your body going to tell you if it feels good, if it's causing you disease or disharmony, or if it's, if it's some mineral or life force that you need it. And so because I got an alignment to begin to not knowingly eat from my blood type, I was able to heal my body from everything that was ailing me in my past. And so I here I am just going over my journey and someone tell me about eating right for my blood type. And I was like, okay, well, let me see. Let me see. Let me see if this is, this is in alignment with, with the things that I eat. And it was 99, damn near 0.9% accurate for the things that I was eating. I'm like, how, how does somebody know this here? about me, about how how I, my body feel, feels. Is somebody watching me? And then I begin to think about in my past, because now since that heightened awareness came to me about how I was eating and that, oh my God, my inner being led me to foods that were highly beneficial for me. Well, could it be, could it be that they're highly beneficial ways for other people? And so this, this, is, this is how I know. And so I think back and I think back on all of the old the old, and when I think now, instead of thinking and looking at people with just energy, frequency, and vibration, I look at them as they're coding, and now I better understand, oh, he's an O. He's an O because he acts this way. I could read personalities this way. I could read the person's diet this way. And sure enough, these are the same people who will voice, man, something always happens when I eat da 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 Man, I got to go to the gym. I got to burn this off. And so... O's collectively because I've been around so many sick ones you know I've been around sick people all my life in church as a holistic healer as my student from my guru you know now on live this, this, this is what I do and so you you pick up the pieces if you're observing if you read an energy or if you're not paying attention you miss this here so I picked up the pieces and I'm like oh my god he's an O I could go to the gym and I could identify who's the O and who's not because of the physical strength and endurance and, and because of how they how they love to work out to relieve the, release their stress while others are having a harder time keeping up because they, even the, the way that we exercise, the way that we, our personalities are, all of this is already coded because of a certain blood type because your ancestors was like that because now I tie those things together and I'm like, oh my God, there's no... There's nothing new under the sun. Oh my God, there's a law of oneness where all things are connected. So all these bloodlines are connected too. So once you get to know yourself, it's easy, it's easy for you to know other people outside of yourself because you're just looking at another version of yourself. Because you, you're going to walk into you everywhere you go because you are everything. You are no team, but it, you have everything at one time. And so that's how, through knowledge of self, you, some people call that, you know, awakening, kundalini, kundalini energy, you know, being woke or, you know, going on a hunch or the Holy Ghost, whatever you call it, it really don't matter. Everybody could do it. <laughs> Everybody could do it when you open up that part or you're open to that part of your expansion. And some people are not. Some people like to stay in a limited box. Just like I'm talking right now. There's some people that's just going to listen. They ain't going to do nothing because it's not their season to do nothing. They're just walking around with just one eye open. They're just peeking for now. It don't hurt hard enough just yet. They don't have um, a life-threatening sickness and disease just yet. Mm -hmm. So they're just instigating. Just going to question me. But they ain't going to question themselves, though. But they don't realize that I am an extension of themselves. But I'm the extension of themselves that did the work already. They're the extension of themselves that just, just, just a fly on the wall observing for now. But they'll get here, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, life work. Yeah, yeah, a blessing. Thank you for your wisdom. Oh, you're so welcome. So let's see. <sighs> Looking for your website. The link is in the bio. Saltoftheearthpub.org. Saltoftheearthpub.org. And so if you're on TikTok, all you have to do is click on my picture up here. Click on my picture at the top. And you go to my bio and you'll see my website in bold letters and then you'll bring you right there to the website 
www.solidarypub.org in the bio in case you don't know what a bio is it looks like it's like this here it's this page that you're going to oh i didn't mean to click on my video i was dancing y'all y'all saw me dancing <laughs> okay 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 but anyway the um the bio is like this here this is the bio and my website address is at the top y'all tap the screen y'all asking a whole bunch of questions over here i see 445 likes over there no more answer questions over there until you learn how to give. It's more blessed to give than it is to receive, okay? So tap the screen. If you're new to TikTok, this is how you tap the screen. You use your finger and you tap, and I call this offering time, because that means now you're giving to me. I came here to give to you, but I want to receive too, so we can make this a harmonious interaction. I give, you give. And then you'll be sending out a signal to your subconscious mind that you're a giver. And when you send that signal that you'll give her, you receive more things to give. That's how that thing go, called life work. It's called that way. It works that way because it's called balance. Balance. So I'm going to give you a moment to, to get us up to a thousand likes because we need some balance up in this year room. Thank you over here for the 4,000 likes. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the likes. Y'all been giving over here. This is the mindfulness page over here. Y'all already know this to be true. You, you should have remembered this here from church. When, when it was offering time, they said, you can't be God's given no matter how you try. The more you give, the more he'll give to you. Just keep on giving. Y'all heard that song? Because it's really true. You can't be God's given no matter how you try. My husband and I, Got our meal plans the other day. We're starting it next Monday. Okay, okay. Look at Wendy. Wendy, don't forget to come back. Circle back and let us know how you and hubby doing. I'm, I feel so happy for you. I really am. Because I know it's going to change our life. I know y'all going to feel better. Oh, I'm excited. That's a beautiful thing. That you and a partner could go on that journey together. And, and leave a review on my website if you remember to. If you remember to, let us know. Let us know. Let everybody else know. Help you help your reflections out, Wendy. Let's see. What is this here? Um, I missed one. Yes. Q said yes. Hey Queen, I'm an old type. And I struggle with the meat part. Currently dealing with low iron. What do you mean you struggle with the meat part? You don't want to eat the meat? Or you struggle because you want to eat the wrong kind of meats? Tell me that part. I don't know what the struggle is, um, Miss Nicole. Okay, you will. Thank you, Wendy. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Let me know, um, Nicole, about the struggle part. You eat the wrong ones, or you don't want to eat them. Because, you know, they have some, some O's, you know, we get into the spiritual journey. We don't even want to eat the meat no more, you know, because we don't want that with eyeballs and all that. Okay, we had a thousand over here. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. See that? Don't it feel good to get? It feel good. I feel good. <laughs> yeah so you did you find the website yet did you find the website there's a gather is that there's a gather i think that is one word all together scrambled up yeah so that's how you get to the website it's really really easy you don't have to go through the link in the bio you could just type salt of the earth pub dot org that's s-a-l-t salt of the earth because you're the salt of the earth and the salt if the salt loses safe and wet for it will it be salted it'll be good for nothing but to be trampled over by men and i got that from the biblical text too so that's the name of my business salt of the earth salt of the earth pub which is p-u-b like publishing dot o-r-g salt of the earth pub dot o-r-g and that's how you get there the way i saw an answer over here let me see what that said I don't want to eat the beef, but I'll eat chicken, lamb, and turkey. Okay. Will you say you were old? Yeah, I feel you on that. I, I don't, um, yeah, you say you were old. Um, <laughs> I don't particularly care for, um, beef myself because beef is, is a, a, a meat that I, I can't clean, like, and I like to clean the heck out of my stuff with my alchemist oil, with some lemon, <laughs> and with some coconut vinegar. I clean the heck out of it, the seafood that I consume, which is really just, I really only consume like maybe wild Atlantic uh, salmon and maybe some turkey. 
but I don't eat meat much at all. Only a couple of times a year. But when I do, I'm feeding the heck out of it. So I feel you on that. But yet and still, if it's not beef, because beef actually for oh really makes them feel good. Yeah, they, they get excited and stuff. They get serotonin and dopamine levels increase and everything. But if, if it's not beef, what you could do is go to your highly beneficial um, meal plan and just pick one that you do like. If you don't, that's no problem either. Pick a seafood that you do like. If you don't like meat or seafood that you don't, you know, if you see meat or seafood on there and you don't like none of them, use the meal plan, prepare meatless meals out of the meal plan. You don't have to, but I will caution you. You have a lot of hydrochloric acid as a oil. So I will caution you to at bare minimum, if you're not going to eat meat as old, please stick to your highly beneficial fruits and vegetables. Don't just wild out and just eat anything while you're not eating your meat because that's a recipe for failure for a lot of the olds that move away from meat. But they failed because they moved away from meat and plus they probably was just stumbling only here and there with their highly beneficial foods for their blood type. You have an advantage because you have the highly beneficial fruits vegetables and your nuts and seeds and, and your bean you know that you cook still consume so go there do that but you do have a, high, a lot of hydrochloric acid so i would find at least one at least one meat to help with all that fire within it because you're a meat hunt you're a meat eater you're the, the hunter the gatherer <laughs> so yeah hey jay just order i'm so happy for you yeah, it is. It is true. And they always come back. They always come back one way or the other. And I just be smiling. No judgment, but I'll be smiling because I'll be saying to myself, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, the, the meaty, the bat. <laughs> the meaty, the bat. I just smile, you know, it is what it is. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm back, Miss Grateful. I was just talking about you, one of the ones that um I knew that had something positive. I just looked at Miss Grateful. I was on a thing. I was on here. Let me show you. Let me show you because this is what I need you to do. <laughs> I need you to help me, Miss Grateful. So I was talking to the people and I was like, y'all, don't forget to leave a review. And so like when you go to the meal plan and I was showing them how many reviews I had, when you go to the meal plan after you buy it, Right here, they say description, and then they say reviews next to it, right? You click that tab that say reviews. I don't have no reviews, Miss Grateful. Miss Grateful, could you put a review? Because I know you got a good one. <laughs> I don't have none, but people come in the comments all the time, and I don't remember all of them people since I've been doing this, and I need some reviews. So could you be my first one? Could you? <laughs> Write a review. Oh, yeah. Thank you, I appreciate it. Because I forgot to ask. So much be going on, and I'm on so many different platforms and shipping orders and talking to the people. I got a lot going on. You never noticed it? Oh, okay. Well, I guess they ain't noticed it either because I don't have not one review. Not one. And been run, running my mouth, and ain't nobody said a review over there. But they've been telling it, you know, in the comments over here. So if, if any else, anybody else up in there got a review? Could you please, please write it on the website? I just showed you how to do it. <laughs> I ordered my list over the weekend for me and my family. I'm excited to start my journey. I feel excited for you too. <laughs> Gemini, sweet. Right, so mention it every day on your live now. Yeah, I gotta mention it because I should have, I should have a good, at least a good two, three hundred up there. And I have zero. That's okay. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna tell Miss Um Being Soul too, my moderator, to um tell him, hey, don't forget, don't forget to write an honest review after you order yours and you start feeling good. You gotta tell people. Yeah, that's testimony time. Like you remember in church, we had to come back and tell them about the goodness of God. <laughs> 
<laughs> already, look, already, you come over here, we have a church, because I'm going to tell you a biblical quote, whether you're in religion or not, because that's that's embedded in me. I ain't religious, but guess what? They got some gems up in here. And then we're going to do offering time. That's when you're going to tap the screen. And then we're going to have testimony time. Testimony time will be you write it in the comments right here. And you got to write it on the review page on my website. You get to double up on your testimony time. <laughs> We gonna have a whole whole service, yep. And then we gonna say a little prayer at the end. Of this video was from my heart to yours. <laughs> there we go, whole service. Yeah, greetings. Hey, so love life. How you doing, babe? Thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate y'all. I'm so happy for y'all. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Looking okay. Y'all found that. So, any questions? Any questions? Any particular blood types out there? Who we got here today? Who's new here today? Y'all talk to me if you knew. Let me know if you knew. If you knew and know your blood type. Newbies, newbies. Check in, check in. If you're a newbie and you know your blood type. Newbie and you know your blood type. If you don't mind saying it, I ain't gonna do nothing but talk about it. It's the purpose why I'm asking for it because it's like, why why you won't know well i want to tell you some things about your about your blood type that's all yeah yeah huh well i explained this is saying detox newbie oh oh we got another uh, oh newbie okay okay we'll talk about that hello um did do uh oh yeah 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 I did come on live earlier, but I only stayed maybe about a good 15, 20 minutes, if that. But um, but I ain't really talk long because I couldn't. Um, I had a, a bunch of errands to run. That's why I'm still here late. You knew, okay? You knew. Uh, I am Cal. You you know your blood type just yet? You. So I know who to cover. If you know your blood type just yet, let me know. You missed it. It wasn't. Um, okay, so you start off. You would start off on Amazon then. But I'll, I'll share. I'll share about another blood type, and you could chime in, and then and then you'll be empowered when you get to Amazon. Well, after you get your Amazon package, so you would be starting here. Eldon, E L D O N, at home kit. You go to Amazon, and you put that in the browser, and you search for it. E L D O N. Somebody type that in the comments for me. E L D O N. Elden at home kit is going to be a card with a with a needle, so you can prick your ring finger and find out your blood type. You find out your blood type because your blood, the plasma in your blood, is going to create an image, kind of like one of these. If it creates an image that looks like those four copper pitties at the top, then you know you a blood type O negative, right? And so forth. So now you're empowered. After you find out that information, you go to my website. Link in the bio. Saltoftheearthpub.org. And you get your meal plan the most valuable just to let you know before you do anything the most valuable product that you want to get would be the bundle the third bundle that jumps on the screen right there that third one is the most valuable because it's going to come with a meal plan it's going to come with instant weight loss cheat codes in case you ever gain weight or if you're there now where you want to lose a little weight and increase your metabolism It'll tell you the highly beneficial foods for that. It'll tell you all the foods that are just highly beneficial based upon your blood type and the foods you need to be avoiding. It also comes with an herbal potion that you can consume if you ever were to get sick. You have the ingredients of a potion that you can digest and heal your body and, and give you your vital minerals that you need. And it comes with a seven day meal plan. That's breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, nuts, herbs, spices, uh, meat, seafood, beans, legumes, everything based upon your blood type. That empowers you. You begin to eat like that and you reward any sickness or disease away. That's the most valuable plan. So that will be your steps on what to do. And so the previous question was um, the O um, blood type for banana. No, the O blood type, um, they, they really, to be honest with you, like only only uh 10 highly beneficial uh fruits banana is one of them actually for uh oh but o's can't eat a lot of fruit because of the high amount of acid production from its hydrochloric acid 
some of the fruits are acidic in nature and so that's why olives can't poo with hot what do you call it apple cider vinegar because it's acidic so apple cider vinegar it kind of like we have an acid here and they already have a high amount of hydrochloric acid naturally so you got these two acids fighting up in here and this is you know cause like a burning sensation inside of an oil so oil has to really be careful with the fruits oil has a lot of vegetables on the meal plan but the fruits are not plentiful right those pineapples mess me up every time and so and that's another thing digesting a pineapple for a o is a no-no not chewing and digesting it that'll mess them up too so see once you get to know yourself you know get the meal plan and know your highly beneficial things you but you'll better understand this and you 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 it'll be second nature like oh i could drink it but i can't chew it like that's the information that people need to know i could drink some pineapple juice but because of my hard hydrochloric acid and me being oh i can't chew it and break it down because it's gonna cause a fire burning sensation up in it and these are the things that i'm you know if the doctor tell you this kind of stuff yeah you ain't gonna be going back you gonna be getting healed your body and then he ain't gonna be in that paper nothing you know with the annual checkup and you just checking up to make sure that everything bounds and you already know it's in balance because you ain't even right for your blood type and so that's why they don't tell you this here <laughs> pretty much yeah pre-diabetic high blood pressure insulin resistance yeah and all of that could go away simply by eating right for your blood type i promise you i i, I used to get everything every common cold every sickness Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Y'all um, writing the name of the Eldon. Eldon, that's where you start. Eldon at home kit. You start there. You start there. But yeah, I used to have all kind of viruses, flu, stomach bug, all of the crazy names that we call it when we got parasites and our microbiome diversity is out of whack. We ain't got no more digestive, digestive enzymes, enzymes no more. And no more hydrochloric acid. You call it all kind of things. Like, right? 24-hour bug. The flu. Diarrhea. You call it what you want. But I call bull crap. I call a person that ain't eating right for their blood type. Eat right for your blood type and all that stuff go away. Yeah. Yeah. You missed it? What you missed? Oh, the earlier? Oh, no. I, I didn't say on long at all. You didn't miss nothing. You ain't miss nothing. That's why I'm talking longer now. You ain't miss nothing from earlier. Mm -hmm. So, let's say we said we have some O's. Oh, oh, that's another question that I missed. Will you explain the sustained detox tea? Well, sustained detox actually is not a tea. Sustained detox is a detox. It is a 30-day detox. It is a cellular level detox. So, let's say, let me explain that to you cellular level that means it's going to penetrate to the cells of your body so me doing like this here me doing like this here the cells of my body are alive right so i'm just moving my own back and forth the cells of my body are alive so when i move my arms i'm actually creating cellular waste i got some waste up in here i'm creating it right now right now so where's this waste gonna go if i'm not healthy this waste gonna be inside of me but if i'm healthy this waste can be eliminated via you know my body's ability to eliminate waste from my bowel from me sweating from my urination you know that's how my body eliminates waste right sustained detox clears the body of cellular waste meaning the cellular waste is going to be picked up and all of the waste that's on any other cell including liver pancreas kidneys large and small intestine and so forth so forth lymphatic system every part of your body so this is why when you take sustained detox you will actually begin to feel almost like a little pulling sensation like a little tugging in your large and small intestines like it's gathering up and you probably be thinking oh oh my that means it's coming 
So, but it's not going to come in a form of diarrhea and make you, you know, use the bedroom anywhere. You know it's coming. It's going to come in a form of a larger bulk of bowel than you used to have. Because now it's bulky because not only is it large and small intestines with old fecal matter, parasites, and this and that and the third, but it's toxins from the liver, right? It's, it's the old fecal matter. And it's cellular waste penetrating all like through the nervous system so if you ever had a, a detox before and never went to 30 days you really didn't penetrate to this level that's why it's designed for you to consume it for 30 days morning and night twice a day it's bitters so that means it's a little nasty to the tongue like you ain't gonna want to kind of like put it in a tea like you said there ain't gonna be no tea that it ain't gonna ruin so my suggestion would be to get those empty gel capsules. You could get them from Amazon. You could get them from a Sprouts or a Whole Foods store. They're only about $5. You get gel capsules and you put that same amount, that same dosage inside of some gel capsules. And look, you know what? I took mine. I take mine here and there. So look, let me show you right quick. I got my bag right here, I think. Yeah, I do. Now don't talk about my bag because it, you know, I just was doing my thing. My bag looked a little cloudy, but it's still what I did. So I had me a couple leftovers. A couple of, um, because I took, how many of these? I took three of these yesterday. Last night before I went to bed. So I was still sitting on the counter, coincidentally. But what I did is, this is the same powder form that Sustain Detox come in. And so I had these empty gel capsules i made sure that they were veggie gel capsules not the gelatin not gelatin veggie veggie empty capsules and i just poured in some powder in there and you know you just open it and close them and put you know put the powder in it that way it bypass your mouth that way because these things oh it even smell nasty when i did like that like lord jesus so that way it bypass your tongue and you don't be gagging, right? That way you won't quit. That way it won't tear up your smoothie or your, your orange juice if you could consume orange juice because all blood types can't even consume that. So you swallow the same in the morning. You drink plenty of water. You make sure that you have having some lemon or key lime and you drink, you know, that while you're on your detox because lemon and key lime, they help to, um, you know, loosen up that mucus. That way your pathogens will be open. So same detox is going to open up your pathways where you can help you expel. But you just want to make sure that, you know, you're giving your lymphatic system what it needs, you know, while you're on the detox, which is the lemon or the key lime, because that helps with all of those acids back there, that lactic acid and that uric acid back there in the lymphatic system and keep them adrenal glands open. And so you want to stay hydrated. You want to stay away from bread, you know, thick, tacky meat steaks things that are really really heavy no matter what your blood type is because the whole purpose of sustained detox is for you to detox at a cellular level and give it all old heavy weights and give your stomach more or less a break so you want to be eating for your blood type and eating lighter foods right so until you get through the whole thing you're not done because we have sometimes we'll have parasites sustained detox helps to rid the body of old fecal matter and parasites but keep in mind don't start sustain and then stop that's why i highly encourage you to get the gel capsules and do it the easy way where you can continue on and you can bypass the taste because what happens is you begin to get to every level or every stage of killing parasites parasites have life life cycles right and so their life cycle they're laying eggs and larva to reproduce and be able to live. You know, they be making babies and stuff up in there. Yeah, they do. All inside of you, right? And so you want to catch every life cycle that happens so you can stop the life cycle of the parasites from reforming. And it takes 30 days to do that. So any detox, all of that keto diet, I mean, that what do they call it? Intermediate fasting thing for a day and all of that little stuff that people be doing prior to that don't get into third days, they really ain't doing nothing as far as they penetrate into the parasite. Because next month or so, when the baby parasite comes, they're going to have that same problem again. So you want to follow through. You want to drink your fluids. You want to be easy on yourself. 
Listen to your body, but keep in mind, it ain't no tea. It's providing the body with all of the minerals and life force that it needs. It is what helped me in my journey to rid my body of um, thyroid issues and to rid me from wearing glasses. It has the highest form of sarsaparilla root inside of it, which is iron. Iron helps to deliver oxygen to the blood. The blood needs oxygen in order for you to get back over from acetic to alkaline. So that's one thing. It has, which is highly beneficial too for blood types. It has bladder rat, another highly beneficial item that actually the O's really, really are highly, that's something highly beneficial for O's, bladder rack, and all other blood types, right? And, it, and that helps to detox the body, providing a plethora of minerals. It in, in actually, our sea moss is inside of that. So those are three of the six ingredients inside of Sustained Detox that really, really helped me. The others are designed to, to help the body eliminate waste in the large and small intestines and the rest of the organs. And it re eliminates it by pulling away all of the old fecal matter, helping you become more regular, that is helping you to become, you know, less constipated. So now if you only use the bathroom, maybe one every, once every three days, now your bulk of your bowel movement has increased and you use the restroom every day now and you're ridding your body of more waste. So your body only going to eliminate so much amount of waste per day anyway because you're only going into detox mode when you're going to sleep and so when you wake up in the morning after coming out of detox mode hence the first meal of the day is breakfast because you're breaking a fast after you go out of detox mode that's why it's so important for you to drink some spring alkalizing water give your body minerals again and while you're giving your body the water it's actually like it's rinsing rinsing you helping you to have that first morning bowel and that's normal if you have normal the normal thing will be waking up drinking water and, and maybe about an hour or two having to use the restroom normal that's the normal detox time and phase based upon you being in alignment with the circadian rhythm and you being healthy as it pertains to your body just coming off of a detox so sustained detox is powerful in iron, over 102 minerals that your body needs, and it sustains you while you're on a detox, and that's why I call it sustained detox, because it's been a lifesaver. Here it is 10 years ago when I made it, and I still take them, and it's the God on the truth, because um, I would have never showed y'all this here, which happened to be right there on my counter, because I took it last night. I would have never showed y'all this if, if you wouldn't ask that question about sustained detox, so... I practice what I preach. I do. So, what's the best type of bananas? I would say the um, Buru bananas or the finger bananas. Um, I don't really think that the long regular banana that's in every regular Walmart or whatever is as beneficial as the bananas that have um, seeds inside because I'm a stickler for fi finding or consuming things that are seeded. Um, I did that one about to say you're a newbie and you're old and you're old i just found out about my blood type is an old we got a lot of olds up in here look like it oh god 72 messages what the heck what y'all talking about down here do you have a youtube yes the link is in my bio if you click on the picture at the top you'll see a black triangle in my on my home page and that's a link to my um youtube channel and actually i just downloaded or uploaded downloaded whatever See that black triangle right there? You click on that, that's gonna bring you right there. It's called Soul of the Year Publishing. And actually, I just uploaded five videos from last week. All five of my lives from last week, I uploaded them yesterday to my YouTube channel. So yeah, you can go and look at that. Okay, so we got some O's up in here. So I guess we'll talk about them a little bit more. Oh wow, I haven't done that in years without laxatives. See there? And so that's, that's how you know, there's a gut that has, does not have the ability to eliminate waste. And so if you're full of waste in here, then you're gonna be full of waste in here, and then you will be quick to be full of waste here, and you won't be able to hear, I mean, see clear. And your cognitive thinking, memory, ability to focus. You see, all of this, all of this here has to do with your manifestation power on a spiritual level. Because you know, you talk, if, you, if you're into mindfulness, probably not there when you're sick, but once you clear up your mind, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be open to mindfulness then because you'll have the ability to focus and stuff return. 
and you're going to realize that that sick phase you were only manifesting from a sick frequency but when you get that cognitive cognitive thinking back that sense of reasoning that ability to focus and use a controlled imagination it takes moments for you to milk on a thought and conjure up energy for that thought so it can manifest these are the thoughts of the manifestations i'm talking about that you really want not the ones that that you know you're creating by default with so they're really hard seemingly to reach manifestations the only way you can manifest them is when you have a clear mind with the ability to focus and control the imagination because you got to pretend as if you have it already but when you're sick it's kind of hard to pretend you see what i'm saying yeah okay all right can you talk about type a and we uh that's a real quick sentence stay from over there okay thank you for explaining that yeah because type a you got the most mucus production okay i caught up on that i'm about to talk about oils okay um what type of detox would you recommend for type o sustain detox because it's highly beneficial for the o's it have more highly beneficial things in there for the o's than any other blood type yeah so say detox detox i mean definitely i recommend that for the o's just just what i just mentioned the bladder right that's highly beneficial for the o's uh sarsaparilla root highly beneficial for the o's the o's always have problems with their iron and with their thyroid iodine yeah they need that o's that's o o o written all over your face o o o o there's some O's in this house. There's some O's in this house. Yep, it's the same detox. So the same detox is beneficial for all blood types, but it has more beneficial things up in there for O's than the rest of the blood types. Because they have like one or two items up in there that just um, that will be neutral for um, the other blood types. That's why I say that. But all of them could have it. So, we're talking about the O's. We're talking about the O's. Tap the screen if you're O. Let me see them O's. Let me see how many people I'm talking to. O, O, O. Do I see any O's? If we don't see any O's, we're going to move on to A's. Do I see any O's? O, 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 O. Are you here? Are you here, O? Let me see if you're here. Let me see if you're here. Because we're beginning now. Finally. After I ran my mouth, huh? You not here no more? You left me? Let me know if you're here. If not, we'll go to A. Oh, 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 Shanara, it's some O's in this house, yeah, baby, certified God, the Anunnaki blood type, where you at? <laughs> okay, okay, so O's, that's it, that's it, I got two over here, and one over here, that's it, oh, y'all kind of, normally y'all be in packs, mm, I'm surprised, it's only like three of y'all here, y'all be in packs. Y'all being shy today? Those ain't you normally know, shy people. Okay, that's another one over here on this page. That's four. Hmm. I don't believe y'all. Somebody lying. <laughs> Somebody lying. All right. So for the O's, O's, your main weight gain factor is going to be. <laughs> Insulin resistance, intestinal dysbiosis, thyroid hormonal imbalance, and inflammation. Right? O's, <laughs> you have a bloodline that can give blood to every blood type, but you can't take blood from the other blood types because you don't want your blood <laughs> to become tainted. Your blood represents the bloodline of a peculiar people a holy priesthood like right a royal priesthood like right in the biblical text that they talk about this is like the anunnaki blood type right the original people so if you don't know this about yourself ain't nothing wrong with that but other people know this about you and so you give them boozle in a hospital to give 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 your blood and maybe nothing is even wrong with you they'll keep you in there because they know that your blood can be given to all the others maybe you don't know this about your blood or your life force but it's really, really pure blood, right? Until we begin to get to the place where we're tainting our blood. And so other bloodlines stem actually from you, right? Even if we're talking about genetically modifying or mixing and matches, matching with races, mixing and matching based upon diets while we're eating different animals that's not in alignment with our bloodline, that allows us, whether voluntarily or involuntarily, to taint our blood. 
And when we taint our blood, that's how we come up with these positives, you know? That's how we come up with these, the opposite of the O. For example, we, we, we come up with the A's. O's have the high hydrochloric acid, and then we have at the end spectrum of that, the A's. Now, nothing is wrong with having the tainted blood and being an A. I'm just using it as an example, because all it's telling you is that it's one, and we're just vibrating on different frequencies, because there's only one God, one faith, one baptism. God is just energy, frequency, and vibration, and so that vibration is just experiencing itself at different frequencies. So you might have an O over here, but on the other end, you have an A. Together, that still represents God. O's, your ancestors were meat eaters. Your ancestors thrived on meat and mostly vegetables. As far as fitness is concerned and your stress is concerned, your physical strength and endurance when you're lean and in, in a proper balance with yourself is really, really high. Your ability to secrete your own dimethyltryptamine, serotonin, and dopamine comes from you feeling good and the food that you're eating being in alignment with the blood type that you are. When you deviate from this and decide you're going to eat whatever you want to eat outside of what your ancestors ate, you experience inflammation and disease. Your inflammation and disease comes in the form of this particular area right here. So it'll be like thyroid issues, it'll be peptic ulcer type issues, which could lead to hormonal imbalances with you because the thyroid is, you know, is, is actually linked to hormonal imbalance. All it's telling you is that you become toxic. There's a level of toxicity right here. And the reason why your area is right here, mostly the not in the beginning, is simply because you have the most amount of hydrochloric acid. What is hydrochloric acid? That's something that you use inside of your gut. All people have a little bit of it, at least a little bit of it, in order to break down your food. So let's say, for example, this is your gut. Inside of your gut, you have something called hydrochloric acid. This acid is there for when you eat a burger, per se. You eat your meat, per se. It's the acid that breaks your meat down to particles in, so in order for it to go down to the large and small intestines and eliminate the waste that you didn't use inside of that, you know, the stuff that you didn't need. It took the minerals, but the stuff you didn't need comes out as waste, right? And you use the bathroom and that's out of you. Well, when you don't eat for your blood type, oh, when you put out your hydrochloric acid because you fell in love maybe with wheat instead, wheat is kind of like your little, you know, your little enemy, so to speak. And so you had all of this acid, just all the Jersey to stay. Oh, good for you. That's gonna be perfect for you as an old. So you had all of this here acid right here, like, right? You had it, but you fell in love with biscuits. You fell in love with pancake. You, you fell in love with burgers. Now, nothing wasn't wrong with the burger until you put the two uh, breads on both sides, like, right? You fell in love with pizza. You fell in love with the thing that put your hydrochloric acid out. Now, when you eat your pizza, when you eat your um, pancake, your biscuit, your cracker, bloop, it just sit here. Bloop, 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 bloop. You see, it's sitting here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. It ain't being broken up into particles. Bloop, 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 bloop. And that's explaining why this here part of you suffers because you put your hydrochloric acid out. Right? And so then you get thyroid issues. Right? Why did you get blood thyroid issues? Because bloop, 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 bloop. There's a whole bunch of inflammation up in here. That's why. Yeah, it's toxic up in here. No more hydrochloric acid. For the meat eater who has the most hydrochloric acid. Because he wasn't eating meat. He was eating bread. He was not only eating bread, or should I say wheat, but he was also consuming something called high fructose corn syrup because it's in the bread and high fructose corn syrup is a man-made item additive that they put in bread what does it do to you oh it tricks your brain into thinking that you're hungry when you're really full so when you go when you eat your stuff you still feel hungry and it's filling up all of this yeah meanwhile now you got 
inflammation what happens when you get inflammation you got a whole bunch of food stacked up on top of that inflammation that's already red and already sore it starts to thin out the lining of your gut because it's on fire it's inflamed this leads to your peptic ulcer this leads to 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 inflammation in your gut this is why your your thyroid is not functioning proper because there's too many toxins this is why the hormonal imbalances is getting all out of balance because you are bought your body is like where is that hydrochloric acid you see where i'm going here i like to explain things like this just so people could remember i know i'm being a little dramatic but that's really what's happening though minus the bloop 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 <laughs> that's really what's happening and so this here lining right here, the buffer right here, this buffer in the stomach is made of um, sodium bicarbonates. This here buffer is there because the acids, the hydrochloric acid was supposed to be really, really powerful, right? It was supposed to be powerful and we didn't want it to come through the lining of the stomach and tear your whole stomach apart because it's so powerful that it's supposed to be breaking up the food, right? But when you add all of the weed and stuff on top of it, your acid is out and you still gonna get a hole in your gut because all of this here pressure of all of this here stuff causing inflammation on the lining of this here gut. And so you still get the hole, you still get the autoimmune disease, you still get the um, peptic ulcer, mm -hmm. you're still on fire. Because just think about it, if I sit, if I was, you know, the people that be in the hospice, you know, the old people, they sit in hospice and they get little boils when you inflame. No oxygen is, is being delivered on their booty. Like, right? So they lay in the bed, they got bed sores, right? Nothing moving, no circulation right there. Same way as this here. Ain't no circulation, ain't no hydrochloric acid. So it's red. It's sores. It's tore up. They'll call it peptic ulcer. Yeah. And then, then you, it'll be hard for you to begin to speak because I used to have thyroid issues. Yeah, I remember that. You feel so mentally fatigued, so out of breath just from talking. God forbid you had to talk a lot. And so that leads you to being in the frequency where you're just walking around wishing somebody would. Because you're in this disease e state of being. And when you're in disease, you're, you're angry, you're bitter. Some of them come through here. You just get to the point. What the hell I need? Talking to me. The person that's helping them. But they'll get mad at me. Because they're sick. They're on fire. And so that's why I don't get mad at them and curse them out and all this and that thing. And the other, it's because I know they're sick. I know they're on fire. Mm -hmm. I can read their sick energy. Mm -hmm. So it's all because you're not eating for your blood type. Simply. Okay, so your problem foods as an old that's going to trigger more and more and more inflammation, more of the bloop, 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 bloop. I told you it was wheat. I told you, you know, one of my TikTok videos was corn, cow's milk, kidney beans, lentils, bacon, which is pork. Pork will tell you up. You can eat all, all kind of meats, but pork, something about the olds and letting go of pork. I don't know what the deal is. You're a meat eater, but God darn, they tell you, you can't eat one and you're like, oh my God, not the pork. Yeah, the pork, the nastiest, toxic of all of them, pork. No, no blood type can handle the pork. The pork been messing up everybody. The pork was written in the biblical text, but I guess the church folk, folk forgot about that. In Leviticus 11 and seven, the pork was always deemed unclean. The pork, pork, corn oil, peanut oil, even peanuts lead to your inflammation. And for those of you who like to have the little peanut butter and the peanut bars as your pre-workout, because the olds like to work out. They have all this energy when they're in tune with themselves, you know, when they, you know, physically fit, that they want to burn this energy off. But the peanut butter and peanuts is a no-no. And they, peanuts being a lot of those little, you know, nutritional bars, like, right? And so the, the things that are actually uh, increase bacteria in the gut for the olds is going to be milk cow's milk so you don't need that corn potatoes for the guys and the gals that be like let me get my carbs i'm an old and i gotta get my carbs no i hope they ain't from, coming from no potato 
because that 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 causes bacteria in your gut. So remember, I was talking about the wheat. The wheat causes you inflammation, right? So now you got you got the lining of the stomach here that's probably inflamed and causing kind of peptic ulcer up in here, little whole little autoimmune disease because of this here being inflamed. And then you had the bloop 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 with all the wheat bloop. I mean the wheat bloop bloop and the pork bloop bloop. All of this inflammation. Okay, you got all this inflammation up in here. You ain't got no hydrochloric acid up in here. So here we go. We're going to throw in some bacteria up in here. As soon as you drink cow's milk, bloop, this bacteria. Corn. When you eat corn, bloop, bacteria. So not only did you have the inflammation, but you got this, this bacteria that's rolling out of control. This yeast, bloop. Potatoes, bloop. You want to get up in the morning and drink some orange juice? Okay, bloop. More bacteria. Because oils can't even consume orange juice. It encourages bacteria in your gut. Then we're going to move over to why your hole came in your gut. Because you never left the corn alone. Because you just had to get it. You had to get it in your cereal. Because you wanted to have some vinegar give you a good pre-workout. Mm -hmm. That would tore a hole up in your gut because you already had hydrochloric acid that was supposed to be doing that. Now you done put out whether you have hydrochloric, if you have hydrochloric acid and you take apple cider vinegar, you got two acids in there. That's fire. That's why you got your leaky gut. And let's say, for example, you done bloop, 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 you got this yeast and bacteria up in here. And you got this inflammation up in here. Now, you inflamed with bacteria and a little weak little lining. And you're going to take some apple cider vinegar, bloop, that go to hole. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but that go to hole. Bust a hole right up in there. Apple cider vinegar was so acidic, and the integrity of that lining of that gut was so sensitive at that moment. Bloop, that got a hole. So now we got a hole. We got a leaky gut. So what that mean? That mean the lining of the stomach have a hole in it now, and now food particles is just flowing into the bloodstream. I'm telling you, telling you what's happening to the, the oils in the in the, in the in the physical reality for the blood type. So food just falling out, just walling out, and they feel it. Oh, they feel it. They feel it. They probably ain't telling nobody that they feel it, but they feel it. Because when I had them thyroid issues, I used to act, try to act as no as I possibly could. Knowing damn well I was on fire. But I look at people, Lord, if you don't get your ass from around me, asking me a damn question, lady. <laughs> what the hell you want? Kind of look on my face. Like, right, I'm on fire. You want me to talk? Oh, no, I don't have nothing to say. No comment. No comment. I'm just ready for folks to get home to get in my garage so I can shut the door and don't have to talk to nobody because now I'm in my house I don't even have to answer the doorbell no more leave me alone people so these people know this because they're feeling they're out <laughs> I'm just being honest <laughs> I knew that damn apple cider vinegar wasn't good for me had my stomach hurting see that you know you be having these signals but sometimes we'll ignore our internal GPS right yeah yeah yeah, drinking, yeah, yeah, inside, yep. So, you ignore your internal GPS, and you feel this burning like, uh-oh, I wonder what that was. That didn't feel right. That didn't feel right. Oh. So let's say, for example, you go to the doctor this day. I wanna try and try add this in, because I never did this here before. Let's say this is your story with you and you go to the doctor this day. You go to the doctor, they do blood work on you. What's going to happen? Oh, we didn't find anything in the blood work. We got to run more tests. We got to look. We got to get a little bit more intensive with it. Because it's not going to show up in your blood right now just yet. Your blood ain't all the way tainted because your lymphatic ain't all, system ain't all the way backed up. But you don't want to even wait for it to get all the way back up. You want to heal that gut and drain that lymphatic system and get rid of that inflammation with your highly beneficial oils. You want to heal that gut and replenish that hydrochloric acid so that the food that's in here, that's still, that's still bloop, 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 that's in here can go down the right way. And once it gets out of the way and go down the right way, mind you, some of it still gonna fall out because of that hole. But once you clear this up, now guess what? That hole could heal. Guess what? While you consuming the highly beneficial foods and fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds, it's healing that hole. It's replenishing that hydrochloric acid. It's giving you your digestive enzyme back. 
but you got to leave those things alone that wasn't serving you. So yeah, I said that peanut butter, peanut oil, peanut, yeah, 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 I did say that. Mm -hmm. So, you read about ignoring, yeah, 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 be ignoring, like, ooh, ooh, but you keep on. Even, even when we when we drinking or, or I mean in eating rather the po boy if we're old we we down that thing we, we gotta do all that just to get the bread out like, oh wait I gotta drink some water <laughs> that's what we'll say but guess what that was our internal GPS right there telling us wait just a little bit much just a little bit much you're trying to put a whole lot down here it's not, it wasn't necessarily telling you to drink no water. It was telling you, wait, hold up, hold up. It's a little too much. It's, it's too much. <laughs> you know, you are so in tune, your body is so much of empathy and intelligence that when you get, you think you just yawn and just because like, oh, I'm tired. Yeah, you might be a little tired from the night before. But when you have a big stretched out, out of control kind of yarn do you not realize that 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 right there is symbolic of something being right there in that gallbladder duct that your body was like okay guys get together and make her feel this thing we need her to stretch we need her to open up real real big so we could get this toxin down so we could distribute that to the large and small intestines and get it out of here your body robs, robs peter to pay paul every day working hard to save your life and you ain't even helping it so that's why you you have this big old stretch. Yeah, I'm talking about the kind that you, you want to do all like that and you get on your tippy toes. That's your body. Giving you an order to do to help it get stuff that's stagnated, that needs to be moved because we got to do that with her because she don't ever consume her highly beneficial oil. Yeah. If she would have had her highly beneficial oil and would down it, based upon an at-home herbal potion that God is just being created for her, for her blood type. If she would drink that, then it would lubricate them stones right there and them things would go and dissolve and it won't be a stone no more. It would just fall down like little barbels. But she won't do that. Mm -mm. She's just ignoring us and we're being cast away. And so since we're being cast away, guess what? We kind of have to show up as sickness and disease because we, the cells of her body, the cells of his body are at dis-ease. She ain't even hearing us no more. She's nothing like the ancestors before her with her same blood type. Because they listened, they had ears and they were hearing, they had eyes and they saw, and they were conscious and intuitive and were in alignment with their blood type, with their genetic coding. The link is in my bio, saltoftheearthpub.org. Congratulations, whoever that was that purchased the meal plan. I'm so happy for you. Y'all getting this? Y'all getting the understanding of this? Mm -hmm. Y'all using logic to understand this stuff. Congratulations to you. I'm happy for you. So off type, off top, type O has a tendency to have a low thyroid hormone. Just off top. It is basically from an imbalance in your gut flora, which I just explained with all of my little um, <laughs> interesting ways of explaining it. By explaining to you like that, because I want you to remember it. Okay? Okay. Type O individuals also have a tendency toward inflammatory conditions. Okay? So, I talked about the things that's going to trigger your inflammation. The things that's going to bring bacteria to your gut. So, they are actually vegetables. Let's talk about the vegans that want to be, um, that are O's and that want to be a vegan. There are actually vegetables out there that will impair proper thyroid functions for the O's. So if you want to be an O vegan, okay, go for it. But here's one, one couple of things that you need to stay away from. If, first of all, if you get your meal plan, you'll know everything is beneficial. 
but I'm gonna just help you so you don't put a hole up in your gut and you wanna be um, cheap and just wanna just listen. Cause I know I got three loaders out there that just wanna just listen. And I don't want you to have a big old hole. Maybe we could just have a little bitty hole. Maybe that's the point that you wanna listen at just to get the little kind of hole, right? Okay, well this is for you to help you so you have only just a little hole. Please avoid cabbage, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, and mustard greens because they add to an impaired thyroid function if you're old. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to, O's? Could somebody type O? I'm talking to O's. So if you were A, B, A, B, I'm not talking to you. Could somebody type O? So people that's coming through could know which blood type I'm talking about. Could y'all type O? Come on, type O for me. Type O. Because, you know, the freeloaders, they probably get confused, you know, because they, they already sick and then they freeloading. So they might get a little confused. And I want them to know, I'm only talking to, to, to the O's, okay? The O's, okay? Because cabbage and Brussels sprouts and mustard green, good for other, some other blood types. So don't get, I'm in denial. Yeah, okay, well, I'm talking about you, Terry. Terry in denial. Terry on the fence. <laughs> you, but okay. <laughs> That's funny. She in denial. Okay, okay, you going on with that denial? What grandma said? Anybody know what grandma said? Anybody that's been looking, watching me more than a week, you should know what grandma, my grandma said. A grandma said a hard head make a what? Anybody know the rest of that? We talking to you, Terry. <laughs> we talking to you. Link is in the bio. Oh, thank you, thank you. I believe I appreciate that, Goddess. Thank you for. Once they get clean up, is probiotic and prebiotic? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. And I'm going to talk about that. Make a soft ass. There you go. My husband, oh, and I'm an AB. Oh, okay. Oh, that's really, really different. A soft behind. Y'all know that, right? Okay. So, this, this question that was just asked. After cleaning up my gut, is a probiotic and a prebiotic necessary? Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Did your ancestors eat an acidophilus white little strawberry flavored thingy and chew on that while they had that cobra sticking out tight their um, forehead? <laughs> go to the go to the pictures of the um, the hieroglyphics and show me which one of them pictures depict the ancestors eating an acidophilus. For the pre and probiotic. I'm going to circle back and, and, and elaborate. I want to tell you one more thing about your hormones. So to interact with your hormones and your metabolism, wheat, kidney beans, and navy beans are interacting and causing them hormones and different things to get out of whack, right? And so now let me jump into the pre and probiotic. On your meal plan, you have highly beneficial fruits. For you O's, that's where it's at. Remember how I told you? Just, just my, you just tested? Okay. Positive for what? You got to be positive for A, B, A, B, O, O. Right? So it, it's a blood type, not the negative and positive. So I'm grouping them together. So rather O negative and O positive, I'm talking to you on this one here. Hell no, they didn't. Somebody say, hell no. They didn't have that. Right? So remember how I told you O's that you only had 10 <laughs> people see you only had 10 fruit that were really highly beneficial for you well those fruit that are highly beneficial for you on your meal plan they are your probiotic they are your prebiotic because nature nature already wrote that man can't make up a little tablet and call it an acidophilus at least nature created the beginning of a probiotic beneficial bacteria for your gut in them fruits already in them sweetness already so let me just generally speak without speaking about all of the ones that's on the meal plan because y'all gonna get your meal plan and get to know thyself but let me generally speak so generally speaking some things that can that can give you beneficial bacteria they are going to be the tacky things right they're going to be the tacky thing. They're going to be tacky things like, <clears throat> like dates, tacky things like sweet tamarind, tacky things like um, agave, right? So these tacky things, what the tacky things do, remember, let's go back to this gut here again. The lining of this gut is made of sodium bicarbonate. Do, 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 
do, you put the weed, do, do, it builds up. You drink orange juice, now you got bacteria. You got inflammation and bacteria, right? But when you begin to eat sweet tamarind, when you begin to consume agave, when you can begin to consume things like dates, they're thick, they're tacky, you chew them, but they're like gummy bears almost like, right? So they, when they're digested, they're picking up stuff. They, they, they getting stuck to the parasite. They getting up, they got stuck to that bacteria right there. Oop, it got stuck to the wheat right there. Oop, it got stuck to that yeast right there. And now it's bulking because it has fiber in it. It's bulking up your stews. It's giving you more ways to eliminate because you ate the proper highly beneficial fruit for your blood type. And it knew what to do. It knew how to clean this here up <laughs> and get rid of this. It realized, oh, 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 we got memory up in here. What she's doing is, or what he's doing is saying now, he don't want to go outside of the grain of eating for the blood type. He want, he or she wants me to clean up this mess that they created. Okay, I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to clean it up. And when I clean it up, I'm going to replenish that hydrochloric acid. When I clean it up, I'm going to replenish the hydrochloric acid and leave an alkaline ash behind. Not only would I clean it up and replenish the hydrochloric acid and leave an alkaline ash behind, but I'm also going to leave beneficial bacteria for the gut just for the sake of it because they ate their highly beneficial tacky, tamarind, dates, agave according to the blood type that they needed. Y'all getting this? I'm hopeful that y'all getting this. I'm hopeful that y'all getting this here. Y'all tap the screen if y'all can still hear me. My, 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 I repeated myself so many times because it was saying I lost connection. It was saying I lost connection. Y'all let me know if y'all can hear me. Y'all let me know. Y'all still here? Y'all still here? Let me know. Let me know. Yes. Yes, on this page, y'all still here? It said I lost connection over here. Y'all can hear me over here, these 30... 32, these 32, y'all can still hear me? Somebody, anybody? Anybody? Shanetta? You back? I'm back? Okay, I'm back? Okay, good, good, good. Good, good. Now, yes. Okay, good. You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm lost connection, but I'm back. Okay, good. So I'm going to repeat that last part. So now when your body, when you're giving it these beneficial fruits based upon eating according to your blood type, it's going to leave an alkaline ash behind. It's going to leave your gut. It's going to eat up all of that um, yeast, that wheat, you know, the bacteria. It's eating that up because these dates, these uh, tamarind and your highly beneficial fruit is pulling that away because they attack it. And they're going to leave beneficial bacteria. There go your pre and probiotic that the doctors say that you're supposed to get from getting the acidophilus white little peel. When nature created the first pre and probiotic in your fruits that are highly beneficial for your blood type. And they're on your list. So you don't need that. You don't need it. It is my promise to you that you don't need it. You need your meal plan. That's what you need. You need to eat the things. That's going to give you that beneficial bacteria. Just like, just like uh, lemons and lime, which are beneficial for all blood types. It leaves lemons and limes. This, is, this, this stuff excites me. Y'all, okay, it's my passion, so it really excites me. Here we go. We we are so unique. Even our God is so unique. It's almost like it'd be like, man, I'm God. Let me show you that I'm God. All I want you to do is eat a key lime or a lemon, and I'm gonna show you that I'm God. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna transform that thing. <laughs> I'm gonna shape shift that thing on your ass. <laughs> it's your passion too. Good. That's why you be here all the time, Miss Grape. I don't even be talking about your blood type. You'll stay the whole time. I'm like, why is she here? I knew that already, Miss Grape. But check this out. Check this out. So it's my passion. So I could talk about it for hours. But so it'd be like, I dare you to eat a lemon. I dare you to eat a lime. When you eat it, when you put it in your mouth, it's gonna be acidic. It's going to be acidic. And that's why I encourage you, if you're going to drink limeade or lemonade, that you use a straw to bypass your teeth because you want to bypass your teeth because you don't want to strip the enamel off of your teeth, right? That's how acidic a lemon or lime can be, like, right? 
fool around with it long enough without using a straw and you'll figure it out for yourself because it'll even give you a cavity because your saliva is alkaline and lemon being acidic is bringing your saliva pH balance down and so now it's stripping your enamel off your teeth, like right? It lemons and lime clean things, like right? And it'll strip up every day. Anyway, I ain't say that to say that, but I thought I'd throw that in there. So this is how cool our body is, and I'm about to get excited because this is my passion. You put a freaking lemon or lime in your mouth, and that thing gonna get to clean and just clean your mouth, clean your mouth, clean all this here parasite and toxins out there. Whoop 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 de whoop. And then when it get up in here, it's like, dang, let me let me transform myself. Let me let me shape shift on that ass. Let me let me show her what I can really do. I ain't gonna be ascetic no more. I'm gonna turn into an alkaline ash on her. And boy, I'm going to clean out that large and small intestine. And I'm going to leave an alkaline ash behind. I was ascetic up here. But then when I got here, I got converted, boy. I got renewed. I renewed my mind. I changed my mind. I won't be, I won't be at that level of my frequency. I'm going to be at this level of my frequency. I just think that's the coolest thing. I just think that is really, really cool. Okay. I'm, I'm going to chill out. <laughs> but I really love that kind of stuff. Our body is just so smart. Like, like, okay, for example, like, you know how the people be out there and they be wanting to drink this alkaline water. I'm like thinking to myself, where the hell you going, boy? You don't know that you got infinite intelligence inside of you? You could go up there and you could drink that 99999 water or that point, that 8.88888 all you want to. But baby, when you get up in here, you, you're fooling with infinite intelligence. It's like, nah, I don't want to be no 8.888. I won't be 7.35. God darn it. And it buffers. <laughs> It buffers to show you what balance is. But you got to show your body that you do balance too. As within, so without, on earth as it is in heaven. Balance your food. Eat highly beneficial foods for your blood type so that you can be in balance and in harmony within. So your body, which is infinite intelligence, could do the work. It's It too, just like you are master manifester. It's a creator, createe. Just like you. So when you, when you consume, and this is how you know when things are so good for you and it's so purposeful for you, because man can't manipulate food like this here. See, man, the GMA foods, it don't be, it don't be at the frequency of this here to convert like that. Man's GMO seed, less food, be full of sugar and less of the minerals. That's why I encourage you, no matter what blood type you are, that you go behind the one that has a seed inside of it. Because that's the one that know how to shape shift inside of you. And leave within you the alkaline ash that you need. Leave within you the pre or probiotic that you need. Leave within you everything you need for you to maintain good health. I just think that is really, really cool. Okay? <laughs> true. Yes. True. Okay. Y'all hear me. How do I get info to eat according to my black type, please? The link is in my bio. Salt of the earth pub.org. Let's go there. Let's go there. So you're on TikTok, and this here is what they call a bio, my home screen. When you click on the picture of me, you get to this here. You see me? I got a little white little wrap on my head. But underneath there, you'll see a link, a website. And it says www.salt of the earth pub.org. And all you got to do is just touch it. Just touch it, and it'll automatically send you to my website. Or you could just go there and crawl. www.sawtheearthpub.org When you get here, you're going to see these three black balls right here. The most valuable one is going to be the bundle. This third black ball. The bundle. It comes with your weight loss cheat code, the meal plan, the at-home herbal potion, the avoid and beneficial lift list, and seven-day meal plan that includes breakfast, lunch, dinner, your herbal juices, your herbal teas, your snacks, your nuts, your beans, your fish, your meat, whatever it is for your blood type. So when you get there and you click on that, that's the most valuable one. You could do the others, but you probably come back. I'm just warning you. So this one here is the most valuable. So when you get here, it's going to ask you, what's your blood type? So you got to know your blood type. You can select your blood type or you can select the one at the bottom. You see what the one at the bottom say? All blood types. You can select just yours or the one at the bottom. But I'm going to select just mine. I'm going to put in a B. I'm going to put in the B. The B bundle for just mine that comes with every other kit. And I'm going to add that to the card. And there you go. 
There you go. That's just for one. Right? But that, that one, you're getting everything that you need and you don't have to circle back. There is a, a just a seven-day meal plan. If you just want it, it'll be the second black ball on the main screen. The second black ball. Just for the meal plan itself. It'll be the second ball. But I encourage you, you might end up coming back. So let's look at that one. The second ball, I'm going to put in the B. It asks for the blood type. Put in the B, and there you go. And you add that to your card. Whichever one, that's up to you. But the most valuable one would be the bundle with all information that you need. I say that because now you got a meal plan. Ideas on what you could cook. You got your herbal portion if you ever get sick. You got what you need to know about your body, your blood type, or if you ever gain weight, you need to know how to lose it. If you ever become obese or anything like that there, you got weight loss cheat codes. You got everything you need in that third um, black bar. But it's up to you where you are. I'm not a salesperson. You do what you want to do with your energy. I just want to communicate it to you that there are some people that will get the seven-day meal plan and then they want to know other things that's on the other plan. So I bundled it together. All right? So the third one. Yeah, somebody said the third. Yeah. <sighs> Do you suggest a capsule size? Capsule size of what? So saying detox you're talking about? Capsule size. No. Um, they they normally just be like little standard sizes if you're talking about the veggie capsules for the sustained detox. It just be a standard size. I get the um veggie ones and not the gelatin, if that's what you're asking me about. I'm just assuming there, so give me more, more details. Um so yeah, the link is in my bio to answer your question. Let me see if I missed anything else. No, and they saying cool over here. I ain't missed nothing else over there. So y'all good? Okay. So we talked about the O's and the things that trigger inflammation, bacteria. Yes, for the veggie caps. Yeah, it's standard. It's like standard sizes. Let me show you right quick. It's really, really easy. Let me see. It's um I'm pretty sure you could get it off of Amazon. Because I, I purchased um, off of Amazon before. Let's see. Um, let me see right quick. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and you know another place too though? Um, Sprouts. Whole food store. They, they only like, maybe, maybe with tax and everything, they'll be like, mm, $7 I'm thinking seven dollars okay so let's see i want to make sure that they have the veggie on there so i'm gonna just put in that's what i'm gonna put in veggie veggie capsule empty it says empty veggie capsule empty let me see oh they do have a size on here i never seen that before in the store yeah, the size O, O clear. Yeah, yeah, O, O clear. Yeah, that's 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 a good size, O, O clear. Empty capsule, 100. Empty vegan capsules, vegetarian. Look at the price. I was a little short, but that's what they're showing me. So right there, the O, O clear. Yeah, just get them. And it's 100 of them. They empty, it's 100 of them, and you put you put the um, the powder inside of the um, capsule like I did here, and you have about three of them. And you know, even if you get a different size, what you do is you get you a little teaspoon of powder of the sustain. Put it, put a half a teaspoon of the powder because that's how much you tell you to take. And then you just sit up there for one time and you you measure how many of these it take for you to put your half of the powder in it, and then you'll know. It might take three. But I think these are OO. I might take three, no more than four of these, and then that's how many you take in the morning and night when you're doing your sustained detox. That's the easiest way to be really, really accurate about it. So you'll be taking the proper dosage. That's what I would do. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Natural um grocers have it. Oh, they do? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't really go to the natural little grocery stores no more, but 
Got mine at Whole Foods store. Okay, okay, that's what's up. Yeah, we put um, the sustain detox in the veggie capsule. That's the best way to take it, is what I'm saying. To bypass them out because these are bitters. They're really bitter and they're really nasty. In my opinion, I'm just being honest. But the bitter, the better is for us knocking out parasites. The bitter, the better is for us cellular waste, healing, and getting rid of old fecal matter, cleaning the liver and the kidneys. You gotta go bitter with that. You gotta go bitter for the liver. And bees, bees, you, your problematic area normally is your liver. And so me being a bee, that's why I just happen to have some of these because it's the same detox I created, first of all, for me in the beginning. I never knew I was gonna be selling this here to y'all. So I do periodically put me, you know, some, like when I have like extra, and this is really where this came from, my last bundle, cause last weekend I restocked and I had a little tiny bit of, you know, extra. And I happened to have a little tiny bit of capsules. And I said, oh, since I have a little extra, I'm gonna fill it with my capsules and I'm gonna do my little detox this week. And so that's, that's why I got this here. So I'm gonna take me some tonight. But I don't do since I've been detoxing and you know I don't I eat clean and stuff and and I practice mindfulness either way. I don't do the detoxes like twice a day, like you know the instructions are because you know I ain't trying to lose weight and and I don't really have no issues per se is what I'm saying. I'm pretty kind of clean clean. But who knows? My lettuce or whatever I eat could have a little parasite or something in here. I just like to keep my system clean. And so I only do three of these at night before I go to bed and I drink a lot of water when I, you know, after I digest it and I drink a bunch of water when I first get up. And I started yesterday, I started yesterday, so I got tonight, two, three, oh, this is only gonna be like five total nights for me that I'm gonna be doing it. Now, mind you, the sustained detox is a 30-day detox. But see, once you, I'm only sharing this because once you start to clean out yourself periodically, it's less of waste and loads that you have to get down to. I've been on this journey for like 10 years. So when I do a detox, it it be like kind of like short. Unless y'all, you know, unless that 90-day detox, y'all probably remember that I did. And that was a long one. But still in all, even on my 90-day detox, I did that just to mastermind, master my mind, and I only did my detox part for one week out of the 90 days. I didn't detox with er with the sustained detox for no darn 90 days. I did one week still, but I was only drinking liquids on that 90 day phase because that was more like a spiritual cleanse than physical. The test was easy? Good, 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 good. Good. I don't list all of my ingredients for my sustained detox. They're highly beneficial. And that's, that's basically just me not wanting to kind of like give out all of my, my gems per se <laughs> at my own discretion. And so, but I, I do list um, some of the, the main ones. The main one would be sarsaparilla root, which is highly beneficial for all blood types actually, because it has the highest amount of iron. And that's what a lot of people with sickness and disease is. Um, missing and of course they have some um, real our um, sea moss in there and that's that's about a hundred and something minerals right there alone and bladderack bladderack is in there so I list those three but as far as the other three I just I just don't they are highly beneficial for you though they work <laughs> I'm a healer and it is highly beneficial for all all blood types and all blood types need those first three to begin with. So I know they need the other three. Yeah. Um, should I wash the fruit in vinegar or organic uh, baking soda? Um, as far as fruit is concerned, with mine, I actually do all kinds of different things. I'll do vinegar and baking soda to create that reaction. And let it sit up in there like if it's like a if it's like a if it's like apples you know with a little soft shell or something like that but if it's like grapes if it's grapes i'll wash it with food grade hydrogen peroxide because i find that grapes kind of um it's almost like they drink whatever you cleaning it with and you know your grapes be tasting like a little you know vinegar 
slash baking soda. And I don't want my grapes to taste like that. I want my grapes to taste like grapes. So I'll spray it. Well, I don't have my label on here. Wait, I got a bottle right up to here to show you what it looked like. I'll spray it with this here. And I keep this at the kitchen sink because that's what I spray like um maybe grapes or if I'm eating maybe strawberries. Um, you know, something soft like that. I'll spray it with that full grade hydrogen peroxide. And it looked like this here. This is a real good cleaner. I get this here from Whole Food Store. It looked like this here. Full grade hydrogen peroxide. Can you see that with that clear? Like that. And I'll just spray this. That's a, that's a really, 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 really good cleaner right there. Or if I don't do both of them, either one of them, like sometimes for my grapes, in, even on one of my videos, I would boil some hot water in a pot and I would wait till the water gets to boil and I would just dip my grapes up in there for maybe about 10 seconds and lift it out and maybe 10 to 15 seconds and lift it out of the water and then put it on a plate and consider it washed in because the hot boiling water will get rid of all of the you know film and stuff you could do that with your green yellow red peppers too when you're chopping up your seasonings put it in some boiling water and that wax coating that they put on there will come off and you could do that with your grapes too the soft things you could do that with so it depends upon which one you want to do but they all work you know okay yeah you are on pause again what what in my back i don't know what's wrong let me know when y'all hear me let me know i eat berries type oh okay blueberries what about cleaning your vegetables same thing same thing either one of them i only use the boiling let me know if y'all back over here why y'all keep going out and they not going out am i moving yet <laughs> they keep saying i'm frozen y'all can hear me right Y'all tap the screen over here. Y'all asking all the questions and now y'all only got 2,000 likes. Could y'all tap the screen? Get them likes up to 5,000 over there. Y'all get them likes up. It's more blessed to give than it is to receive. Y'all give back. Tap the screen so other people can see my live over here. Oh, God, it's just be healthy. I need y'all to tap the screen. That means do like this year. It's offering time over there. Y'all back? Y'all in here? Fruits without seeds, fake? Yes, I'm back. Um... So y'all heard me first of all with the with how I clean, right? The full grade hydrogen peroxide. Y'all saw the picture of me showing y'all over there? Okay, good. Okay, perfect. Good. We waiting on God to just be healthy to get up. They got to get to 5,000 likes over there. They got 20 people over there. They could get to 5,000 likes in two minutes. Less than two minutes if they tap that screen. Yes, we heard. Okay, good. We had 3.3 .3 over there. Yay. Yay. Y'all like the video, y'all still there, so you gotta tap it when you like it. Like, that's almost like saying, Hallelujah! Yes, Lord! Can I get an Amen? Can I get a boom shakalaka? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm serious, yeah. Congratulations, whoever that was that purchased the meal plan. Let me see, we had 3.7 over there. I'm waiting on y'all. I'm waiting on y'all. Yeah. Somebody, somebody got to catch the Holy Ghost or something. Shout or something over there. Yeah, I'm so serious too. Yeah, I'm waiting too. I'm at 3.8, 3.9. We almost at 4 and then we got to get to 5. Come on. Because y'all been sleeping on, on y'all wasn't touching the screen the whole time I was running my mouth. <laughs> y'all just looking at me. It's offering time. It's offering time while y'all giving. I'm going to drink some water. And then we're going to talk. We're going to talk about um, the fruits without the seeds. Are they fake? We're going to answer that question. Hey, Miss Daphne Clark. Thank you for passing through. This water is so good. Oh my God, I love my water. Y'all have 
I'm almost done with my water. I guess when I finish my water, y'all be done tapping that screen to get us to 5,000 over there. 4.8. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, goddess. <laughs> y'all made it. Look at y'all. Somebody say, if you want, I'll show you on Wednesday how to clean it. When are you going to show me that? I'm so happy for y'all. Let me finish this right quick. Yeah, because I got to make sure I get my water because I've been doing that detox. What you going to show me at? You going to show me? I thought I was texting my son. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. You got it, man. You texted on the, on the live. And you thought you were texting your son? That's funny. You tapping? Thank you. We made it. 5.3. We made it. Yes. So, or seated um, roots fake. Well, really, there's no fake in it. They just had a lower frequency, I'd like to say. So we got, um, you was trying to multitask. Okay, babe, you have a good night. You tired? Go get you some rest. And, um, and you'll feel better tomorrow. Resting actually recharges you and bring you, bring you back at full force. So thank you for passing through, babe. I appreciate you. So our seeded or seedless fruit fake. It's not really necessary that it's fake. It's just vibing at a lower, different frequency and the energy of it was manipulated now with any man-made food the seeded so-called food they needed the source and this goes just like people it, it, the same concept so they needed the source you so you have like the original gods the old blood type here and so then you have lower frequencies other blood lines that stem underneath it other colors that stem underneath the original color of the first man but guess what all of that energy needed the first man's energy or frequency in order to be created. So that's no different. Man-made seedless fruits need the original. It needed <laughs> the gene, so to speak, from the original watermelon per se. And you have that and you create a version stemming from it. But the new version that you create in the lab that stems from the seeded watermelon, for example, is going to come forth and not yield fruit because it can't. It is not the original. What it is going to yield, though, is a mimic of the original. But it's going to be a little bit more sweeter. And so the people at, that are at low frequency, that's necessary for them. And they see no wrong with them with this. They love the seedless watermelon because they in their low frequency not attuned to what their blood needs not eating for their blood type so they love not fooling around with no seed they love it and they get more addicted to it because now it has more sugar in it which goes in line with their diet they're eating the high fructose corn syrup oh this is the sweetest watermelon oh i like the seedless don't give me the seeded one no more because it's not as sweet yeah, but the seeded one, that's the one that really heals your body. That's the one that clears out your large and small intestines. It's really good for your kidneys. That's the one that if you eat the rind off of it, if you had erectile dysfunction, guess what? You blend that rind up and you make you a nice little drink out of it. And it'll burst through that and clean up that blood and give you blood flow. Hence, you will have your erection again because the erection ain't nothing but blood flow. But... The sea less serves a purpose for tasting good and feeling, you know, being a lot of sugar. I guess that's its purpose. And it's purposeful for those people that's on that frequency. And that's all that they want. They ain't worried about no health and wellness. They just want something to taste good. They, they being ruled by their tongue. They don't give a darn about no stomach. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't want to say it's fake. It's real. If it wasn't real, you wouldn't be able to see it. But the only reason why you can see it is because it's a copy of that thing that was real. So it's God experiencing itself at the lowest possible vibration. There you go, grateful. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yep. Yeah, I'll be on tomorrow. My normal time is 10 a.m. I'm about to wrap this up. 
because I wanted to give for the new people some information on how this thing works as it pertains to us having some oils up in here. Oils, I want you to remember this here thing here that you'll take away if you're here and you're just listening and you don't want to be a doer. I suggest you sleep on it. <laughs> I suggest you sleep on it. And I feel thankful that you allowed me to come forth and talk to you because I know I stimulated thought in your subconscious mind which never sleeps. But I'm really for the bulk of everything that I'm talking about, even though I talk about the physical, which is only 0.01%, I'm more interested in your 99.999% .99 of spiritual essence that you stem from, because I intuitively know that you're God in physical form having a human experience. Now, you might not see yourself as God just yet, but I know you, I know your ancestors, because I am you, and I am your ancestors trying to help you remember who you are because life is happening through you and i'm stemming from your subconscious mind because you called me for it to remind you of this point a state of being that you are in your life to get you back into track and to remember what you came for for you came for it to remember that you got you came for it to remember yourself you came for it to manipulate energy you came for it to be a creator creating a manifester manifesting so all of this here stuff I'm talking to you about physical, I know that it's only 0 0.1, 0 0.01. I want you to tap into your 99.999. So you could do, be, or have anything that you want. So that when you increase your frequency, being a God in human form, that your frequency will be so powerful that you'll create a domino effect for others to do the same and the same and the same and the same. So I'm hopeful that you'll remember both consciously and unconsciously everything that I've said today. And I'm thankful that you allow me to upload this into your subconscious mind. Something that already was there, but you allowed me to bring it forward to the forefront. This video was from my heart to yours.